daughter. And um, I've uh, fumbled through this uh, uh, with you. And um, uh, through my education and experiences, I've, I've unfortunately seen some worst case scenarios. Um, the world expanded 25 years ago. Um, when the internet uh, came about, um, of the world and information became available, which is a double-edged sword. And um, you know, information can be used in, in different ways. And just like beforehand, where you know we were, were you know worried about uh, historical things that young folks encounter, you know uh, we have tough conversations with them about drugs and alcohol. You know we've had that you know for you know hundreds of years. You know. We've uh, tough conversations about adolescence and how your body's going to change. Those are conversations that we have with our young ones. This is another to add to the list of kind of tough conversations that uh, you may uh, need to have with your young one, with your grandchild, with uh, your students. And um, you know, on, on behalf of uh, North Allegheny and North Hills, I want to thank the library for doing this. this and the FBI as well. This is a, a great team up. And the idea that we're all thinking about this, that you get a broad range of perspectives, uh, parent perspectives, uh, community perspectives, school perspectives, uh, law enforcement uh, perspectives, uh, is just invaluable. So bravo to you for being here. I should be clapping for, for you for, for being here. So take the messages here, and, and if you can help us expand it out, um, I believe the library is going to make the presentation available online. So you know, if you want to. Send it off. These are, you know, so if you don't, yeah, please, you don't have to furiously take notes. Um, um, it'll be available uh, online, and um, I just want to guide you through um, some different things. Uh, maybe a bit of a discussion here, just to, to kind of get us started. When you when you think of a, like a digital citizen, that's a, a term that's popped up. Anybody have any ideas? Of digital citizen. We have kind of. You, yes. you make a footprint based on your electronics, based on your credit card, based on bank statements. Good. I don't know how far this gets. I'm oh, sorry, I'm so short. Sure, but you <laughs> can hear it. I'm just getting fast now. Yeah. But there's, um, and there's ways that you can use that or abuse it or not be aware. Whether we like it or not, we all have a presence online. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we need to realize that we, we have control over that. Um, and and uh, with every presentation we, we, we do at North Hills, and I imagine at Allegheny too, you know, we stress in almost every single presentation, please be aware of your digital presence, your digital footprint. Are you being a good digital citizen? You know, when we're out in the world, we're citizens, you know. Um, you know if, if somebody's about to walk into traffic, you say, hey, you know, probably not a good idea. Hey, you know, um, or if... Um, you know, um, you uh, you know, you, you run into a situation where um, somebody you don't like. You know, in general, you know, we don't, you know, we're not screaming at each other. You know, there's there's general norms for how we treat each other in society. You know, and the idea is that you're you're using the tools out in the world like a car. You know, you, you have to have a driver's license to drive a car. You're a good citizen. You know, if you're not a good citizen with that, you get taken away. Um, you're gonna have to talk to Kelly about that. Uh, but. Um, <laughs> But with computers and technology, you need to be a good citizen as well. And unfortunately, the policing of that uh, comes down to ourselves. And young people don't always have the ability to police themselves, as uh, they just don't know. Okay. Um, and, and, and sometimes, you know, even though we give them the message, they know they shouldn't be here or be on that site. Um, the decision making, the uh, teenage brain is does not really develop until even the late twenties, or I'm sorry, early twenties. So they're still forming their for world view. You know, of course, teenagers think they know everything. You know, uh, young people know. My my daughter is in the library right now. She thinks she knows everything. Dad, leave me alone. I, I can handle the library. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Um, so uh, young people uh, of all ages need our help, and and. Even adults sometimes need, need our help as well, being good digital citizens. Here's the thing. You, you'd have to try pretty hard to kind of escape technology. You know? It, it's a conscious decision for many of us to set aside the phone, to, to you know, leave the iPad here, you know, to, to not check our messages. Um, and, and if we start to think about it, 
there are so many, so many ways that we and young people as well uh, might encounter devices. You know, and in schools now it's, it's common for young children to have a device, um, to be issued them from the school in many cases. Um, and uh, when you go home, you know, your parents may have a computer there or your desktop's there for you to use. And ones that, that, that people don't think of, they think, oh, you know, sure, I want to make sure my child's not playing a, uh, a violent video game. The, the PS4s and Xboxes now and things like that, those are communication devices. They are linked up. There are accounts that link um, throughout the whole world. And there are dangers to be had with uh, interactions through video game um, consoles, through group gaming, through group chats. You may not know, you know, who you're, if your child's playing a game and okay, you're blasting away at aliens, but the person on the other line who might be using terrible language, saying horrible things, could be an adult in a different part of the world. So it's important to, to remember uh, the game systems and, and uh, home computers when you play a game and you know, we've got headphones on. Um, I, you know, my daughter has some headphones on, sometimes I tap her on the shoulder, hey, what do you, what do you got there? What do you got there, you know? Um, there's like people shooting Nerf guns at each other, That's, she's really into Nerf right now, so. Um, you know, but uh, I, I wanna know, you know, what, what, are, you, what are you doing um, with video games? Think about it, yes, yes. Can I add to that? I, my son has a headset for Xbox, he's 10. Mm -hmm. And I'm not bragging, he's a bit mature, and so it's a lot to manage. He, uh, he's aware of it. So I will, when I see, there's the game face, and then there's also, what's, what's going on? You know, or they're sending, like they can send, um, one text kid sends, no, well, he has sent invites, just as a form of, Tactics. So when you send the screen and I go, and it's 50 times he's saying an invite, he's trying to interfere with the game. Now kids can do that, I don't care, but there was a form of bullying on there that I got annoyed with. So I took the headset off and I said, little Jimmy, not to my son, but listen, we don't play like that, you know, but you know, my sister has her Xbox down in the basement. She never gets involved. I don't know what's better, you know? I mean, I don't I don't know. So I don't mean to slow the presentation down, but no, no, I just I, want to hear, if you don't mind, what, how you interact with them, when is, you know, when do you, I, I just show a presence, you know, at times, and, and it's in our family room, unfortunately, so. <laughs> well, I, I, I applaud you for that, actually, and, and that's um, and my, my, my last point, my, before I usually go on from this slide, and, and please, please interrupt me, okay? I'd rather have a conversation than, than me speak at you. Um, um, I, I, I sometimes when I present, I want to download as much information as possible, so if I'm, if I'm talking a lot, I just want to get information out to you, please, please stop <coughs> interrupting. The location of these devices is very key. Um, uh, sometimes my wife laments that our video game system is in the uh, is in our, our family room where everyone kind of has to walk by because I can play it and I like this new Spider-Man game. That just came out. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, but um, I really advise with uh, young people that it is in a public place. And you um, do play. I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah I play. I, I want to. I and that's the other thing is I can't figure out the darn cons. And I used to play that stuff when I was a kid. I, yeah. I, I, I still play some fun video games. I have um, I have a uh, family in Texas. My my wife or my mom's family uh, moved to Texas years ago, so all my cousins are in Texas. And um, sometimes we'll all get together and we'll play Star Wars Battlefront. We'll fight the Empire. Okay. And I, I it's only about a year ago that I bought a, I bought a good headset, you know. And uh, we could talk to each other and like I'm way behind, you know. Like it's been doing that for five, six, seven years, you know. But it's pretty cool, you know. Like my cousin, I never see in person. Texas that often and, and but we're you know we're you know we're we're chatting about our lives you know as we're you know also blasting Darth Vader and whatever you know so um, I do advise I, I do you know I engage in, in gaming um, you know there's a there's a game I, I like to play called Uncharted okay Nathan Drake's this like adventure but there's some times when he picks up a rifle and he shoots the bad guys and um, I make sure I am not doing that during a time when my daughter is awake. Um, you know, sometimes I play from 5.30 to 6.30 in the morning because she's not awake yet, my wife's getting ready, you know, and it's, you know, uh, time to blast the bad guys, okay? But um, it's our responsibility to see, you know, what are they picking up, you know, even on the periphery. Um, so the location of these places is, is very, very key. 
Um, smart TVs are something you need to worry about as well. Uh, there's communication that can go on between TVs. Um, oh, you know what? I just thought of something that I did not add on to here that uh, I should have. Um, um, I just got a new router from Comcast, and um, my uh, Google Home, uh, I didn't connect my Google Home to the new router yet. Google Home is listening. Uh, Alexa is listening. Um, so um, I'm comfortable with it. I'm not, you know, uh, you know. I, I know. I, we actually have it. In, I actually have it in a different room than we, where we normally eat and everything like that. Kind of in, in our in our um, um, in our, our kind of formal living room. And um, I don't really want it listening to everything we say at dinner. You know, I'm, I'm afraid if I say like. Oh boy, you know, uh, this uh, Giant Eagle rotisserie chicken's really good. Like, I'm really worried, like, I'm going to get an uh, email about Giant Eagle or rotisserie chicken. Like, it can, it can happen very easily that Google hears that, and that's, yes? I was just going to point out that it also records and saves WhatsApp back into your Amazon account. So, if you get your Amazon account, you can go back in there and listen to all of it. You can listen, oh, really? Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Oh. Yes, so you can go back and pick up that. The, those conversations because they're keeping them there wow. and then they can call them from more data. So, That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I, I appreciate this conversation wow. because I've been resisting getting one of these in my house and I, I'm, I'm looking for more ammunition. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust them. I'm not real crazy about it. Um, we, I have it somewhere where we're not always in and sometimes we'll go in and it, I, it most, mostly I'm like, hey, Google Play, uh, 3WS on iHeartRadio, which, do you know that they like, 80s, 90s stuff on 3WS mm -hmm. now, yes, it's blowing my mind. But so yeah, I'm listening to 3WS because it's got like 90s and 80s stuff on it. But um, uh, that's what most often I use it for like a, just a music player. But yeah, it's, it's something to be aware of. It's a way that we are connected. Um, and then of course all of our mobile devices, you know, where we're carrying things around with us all the time. And, uh, and the watches, um, I don't know about the watches, if the watches records uh, sound or things like that. No, I don't know about that. Um, and, and even e-readers and stuff like that. So this is this is everywhere. Um, I imagine each one of you has a, a, a device on you right now, plus we have two computers in the room. Um, so, I mean, we have more devices in this room now than there are people, actually. Uh, probably, you know, way more if, if anybody has an iPad in their bag or anything like that. So it's tough to get away from this stuff. It really is. Now, who's in control of this? Who's got the reins? Ooh, in that case, that's a good point. In that case, Google, Amazon, they have control of the reins of that. But as far as financially, as far as it being a purchase that you've made for your household, you are in charge of these devices. What's the worst that could happen if you say to a young person, you know what, no tablet for a week? The world's not gonna end. The sun will not stop shining. Well, it's Pittsburgh, so the sun doesn't shine a lot, but uh, that's a bad, bad metaphor. But um, the world's not going to stop. Okay? It is possible for us to turn these off. Okay? You know, so don't give up control. Don't cede uh, the power uh, you know, to the young people. You know, you're going you're gonna to make the decision whether or not it's valuable. Okay? Treat it like that, where this is a very conscious thought that you are handing this device to you. You know, um, I don't even have, this is even a, this is an 8, 8S, I think. And this is an older phone already now, I think, the 8S. But it still costs me like $600. I mean, like, so you, you, you this is not like a small purchase. Um, my daughter takes a trumpet to school every day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this trumpet. Like, I'm talking about a, a, an inanimate object. Okay, and the, and the price tag that comes with that, uh, let alone something that, that can connect you to, 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 to anything. We have control, the adults. And that control can extend to so many different ways. You know, cutting things off, uh, uh, changing the router password. You know, um, um, there are so many parental controls. I don't want to jump too much maybe on, on some things Kelly can say, but. Remember, it's our responsibility. Just like you're going to hand the car keys to a child, just like um, you um, are going to, oh, what's another big break point? You know, hey, we're going to register you to vote. You know, it, it's, it's uh, a big, it should be a big deal when you kind of uh, give the young person some control. I grew up in 
Pittsburgh. I went to college in Pittsburgh, so sorry. I, 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 when my wife was pregnant, uh, she was craving for many sandwiches, so my daughter is a, is a yinzer. So, um, <laughs> so um, I, I, I find myself using the word nebby. Um, you know, you're being nebby. Um, is it okay to be nebby? Yes. Heck yeah. And not as it, only is it okay to be nebby, it's responsible to be nebby. Uh -huh. Don't let uh, a young person say, Oh, well, no, their parents are never checking it. Nobody's parents ever check it. Heck, yeah, people are checking it. In fact, this data is even, even I think, uh, 2015. It's, it's, it's um, uh, tough. Pew, Pew does these long, long research studies, so it doesn't take a long time to get data, but most parents are checking these things. Don't buy it if, if a young person, teenager, says, you know, no, no, nobody checks this. Absolutely, they do. So uh, they check with websites. Um, their media, social media profiles, phone messages, use parental controls for teens' online activities. I do that now. Um, when, um, when we have the iPad on, um, I find myself, I'm like, oh, I want to watch the new Mission Impossible trailer. Oh, YouTube blocked it because it's, it's for adults. It's because I have uh, the YouTube uh, marked unrestricted mode so that um, everything that YouTube has you know, crazy stuff on it, some gruesome stuff on it, some horrible, horrible stuff on it, but also some fun stuff, like she wants to watch her Nerf stuff. Um, it's, it's important, even with something as simple as YouTube, to think about the parental controls that are on there, and, and um, Is it pretty common where you can find those? Because I don't, you just got an iPad from Grandpa, so. Oh, yeah, God. if you go to, uh, yeah, but it's also pretty easy to, uh, to turn off as well. It's not that hard. Well, if, I have no consequences for that. Yeah, um, <laughs> you, uh, you go, you uh, click on the settings, and it's actually, I think it's the third drop down down, it's a little bar, and you put on restricted mode. Yes. Okay. You can always go to the uh, store, the, the uh, Apple store, and they'll explain to you, they'll do it for you. Oh, uh, yeah. If like you, yeah, you also have an yeah. iPad, then they talk to you. The iPads talk to each other. So you can set up. Okay. Them. Yeah, I just need that. That's a good point because there's. They're very, very helpful. They use you the kids now. <clears throat> you can even download a whole separate program called YouTube Kids. It's got yep. it. I'm doing it. And one of the <laughs> one of the dangers is if you have a, uh, a Google account where it's linked to your YouTube and it's on multiple devices. Mm -hmm. One time I wanted I was watching something uh, on one and it turned off the restricted on the other. So and, and I didn't switch it back on because you know I had whatever. And uh, yeah, sure you can go on you can go on that one. Uh, so be real careful if you're using multiple devices in your household if the accounts are linked. Because when you turn off restricted mode on one, you can turn it off for the other. <coughs> that's that's that. Okay. Um, so. You know, if people would say like, oh, why are you taking my phone away? You know what, it happens a lot, okay? Uh, it happens a lot, you're not the only one. You are not the monster, you're not the ogre who is, who is uh, you know, chaining, uh, you know, the princess in the tower with no communication devices. No, 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 no. Um, and, and more and more, um, I, I, I think about the screen time and, mm -hmm. and how 10 years from now, I think we're gonna, we're gonna see some studies about effects it's had on, on all of us, really. Yes. Sorry, my uh, son is uh, on medical assistance, so and he needs to see a nutritionist. They came up with five two one zero. Five two one zero. Five fruits and vegetables a day. Two hours of screen time. Mm -hmm. One hour outside of play, and zero pop. Wow. And five two one zero has been a very. Uh, I said I didn't want to work her, but now I do. Helpful. Uh, tool in our house. Uh, other things touch it, but it seems to get all roads of our <laughs> issues. Five two one zero. Mm -hmm. Yep, five fruits and vegetables a day. Mm -hmm. Two hours of screen time. Mm -hmm. Or a play outside or something else. Now, screen time does not mean homework. Yeah, that's that's a really good idea. That's a good idea. And um, it kind of and it, it may not cover everything, but it gives a framework of oh, there's probably other things that fit alongside of that that I should be thinking. Or you can build your parenting around around that. Now we blow that sometimes because my son gets frustrated, and I will tell you that Xbox has been very helpful in getting his frustrations out in some of the competition games that he does. However, we're at a stage now of starting to undo that. 
and focusing more on the outside stuff. So I gotta be honest with you, I, I only let my daughter do an hour a day. Um, um, sure. So, but she's she's uh, she's she's nine, and um, I know they use devices at school. Um, that being said, sometimes I'm like, hey, uh, it's Friday night, let's all watch a movie together. Like, she's already had her hour. Like, you know, so okay, whatever, we watch Incredibles or something like that. You know, that that adds on to it. But um, as far as like uh, her alone in her room, just kind of watching, uh, you know, um, iCarly or something like that, um, or or Bunk's Bunk's real big in my house right now. Um, so um, um, I, I I understand that five two one zero. I'm gonna remember remember that now. Um, how many folks actually talk with their kids, though? That's a good question. Um, uh, this morning, I went out to breakfast with my daughter, and um, the news had they have the news on. We were just kind of sitting and talking, but the news had some kind of violent on. So I was like, "Hey, you know, um, uh, let's look at my uh, your 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 cousin had her birthday. Let's see if they put any pictures on Facebook." And um, when I opened up Facebook. I saw that I had a friend request, and I thought, hey, what the heck, you know? Uh, good story for, for an hour from now. I said, hey, I don't know who this, let's check to see who this person is. And I'm like, oh, this is my brother-in-law's sister. Let's make sure who it is. And, and uh, I said, so I'm not, you know, I'm not going to accept this friend request until I really reviewed who this person is, you know? Um, so it's a good idea to have a conversation, um, well, you know, about even simple stuff like that that we think, oh, you know, you know, they know about friend requests, they pick it up here and there, but like, I had, I wanted to literally show her the process. What I did is I'm like, I want to see who this person is. Who do we have friends in common? What kind of pictures do we have? Um, and more than half of parents do talk uh, frequently with uh, their children about it. Um, and um, again, don't be, you know, don't be fooled in saying, you know, that, oh boy, uh, you know, uh, my friend's parents never do it. Why are you doing it? It's something that needs to be done. Um, you need to get a, a, a learner's permit before you drive. You got to show me you can handle this uh, before you uh, you drive. So, well, how are you going to keep them safe? Kelly's going to kind of get into get a lot of stuff, but I guess as a school counselor, what I really want to prepare you for is is how uh, to to maybe talk. Um, these conversations are not uh, not easy ones. Um, you know, uh, you might have been gearing up for years and years to do the, uh, you know, birds and the bees talk, but things like this, you know, um, you want to plan as well. I'd really advise you to think carefully um, because, um, well, you want to have some credibility as well. Um, because if uh, so you sit down at the dinner table and you get out your phone and you're, you're uh, you know, uh, punching away um, and showing you're not present, you're not going to have a lot of credibility when you go into a conversation. Um, but these are, I guess, uh, some kind of general rules here for any, for any tough conversation. So you can even apply these to uh, the birds and the bees, or to learning to drive, or, or drugs and alcohol, and things like that. Like, literally plan it out. You know, prepare yourself. What are we going to talk about? Okay. Um, I'm going to use the example of Roblox. Roblox. Anybody know Roblox? Okay. My daughter uh, plays Roblox a lot. Um, and um, she, um, we had talked about not having friends on Roblox. You know, no, you do not accept any friends requests. I went over. Hey, uh, who are these two? Who are these two people here? Um, oh, those are my friends. Hey, uh, can we set that down for a second? Okay. I thought that we had talked about you not accepting any friends requests on Roblox. Okay. Um, that was a conversation that we needed to have. And um, that kind of was happening in the moment, but if I had some time to think, I'd be like, okay, am I assuming these are evil people who want to uh, you know, lure her into a creepy van and, and, and do horrible things? You know? Or it could be another nine-year-old that likes cats, okay? Cats for days, that's my daughter's you know, name, okay? Uh, we're not gonna accept your free screen request or request, so I know I am comfortable giving that. Like, they could just be another nine-year-old out there that likes cats. But we don't know that, okay? And, um, you know, as I'm, I'm, you know, going into it, I'm trying to think, you know, am I, am I gonna be a hypocrite, you know, about, you know, me, you know, uh, talking to people online? Um, think about what, what the, some triggers are, okay? Um, you know, 
of buttons. I mean, we, we talk about people being triggered, but it, you know, it, we, we've always kind of talked like that. It's like, oh, you're really pushing my buttons or something like that. You know, it's, it's, it's that one thing to kind of like twist, twist the knife a little bit. Um, you know, how are, how are you going into this? Are you going into it um, authoritative, standing over them with your finger in their face? Sometimes you do need to have conversations like that. I'm not, I, I'm a, I, as a parent, as a school counselor, you know, uh, <clears throat> sometimes you need to have conversations like that. Is every conversation need to be like that? Though? Probably not. Okay. And when you think about it, you know, it, it could it could easily turn into you versus them, but that's not your goal. Your goal is not you versus them. It's you with them versus kind of the world sometimes, or versus you know potential uh, dangers down the line. It, it's, if, if you can identify like a, the boogeyman, you know, who the real danger is, then um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of make it less about you two and more about somebody else. And when I think about these types of conversations, too, I think about how important it is to have them before something happens to try to help your child understand, like, this is what you could encounter, and then how would you handle it? Because that's in the moment when they don't know what to do or they make a real impulsive decision because they're kids, and then they get afraid to tell you. Yep. And so having those conversations like, look, if you make a mistake, I'd rather you come and tell me and we'll fix it together. Otherwise, they will hide stuff from you, and then you'll never know. Yes, sir. Um, I just think this is a challenging topic because um, we go to church and they tell you to be kind to everyone make packages for strangers on the street and deliver it to them, and now we're telling them that strangers who you can't see, beware of. So it's a mixed reaction, now it's a delicate line. I have two twins, one has special needs, one doesn't, um, and we talk to them all the time, but we tell them to be kind to everyone, but this person they can't see, you gotta be cautious of. Mm -hmm. So it's a very fine line, how do you address this aspect as opposed to be kind to everybody. I, don't know. I think it's be a fine line person. between serving the community and helping those that are unfortunate and right. protecting yourself as an individual because sometimes you can give to others and you might not receive what, uh, you know, a lot of times when you do that church stuff and you make baskets and you make bags for people, you're giving to, to people without any expectation of anything. Right. You know what I mean? When you have a relationship, it's a two-way street. Right, right. You know, and you have to protect yourself because there are people with bad intentions out there that might not return your kindness. Right. My my uh, my best answer to that I would be to to uh, follow uh, what Ronald Reagan said: trust but verify. You know, hey, I'm going to give you uh, benefit of the doubt. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to you know double check to make sure. You know, um, like. You know, hey, here's somebody on the street. I really want to help you out. You know, um, here's something. You know, but on the other hand, you know, um, if you're acting, you know, if you're not, you know, I don't want to bring my family into close proximity with you. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna trust you. You know, help try and help you out. But, you know, if if you're showing me signs that this isn't uh, appropriate, this isn't safe, then, then you, you know, you've broken the trust with me. I think what we're all trying to say, if I'm right, is that this, the games or the the electronics are a way to find or do things, giving uh, at church or doing is, 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 a, is, a, is an activity. They're both activities. They're not a form of relating. Oh, well, okay, you know what? I think maybe what we're, what we're all getting at, I mean, myself included, is maybe the, is it the uh, anonymity that uh, comes into play here where, you know, if when you're helping somebody face to face, you're interacting with people, you know, um, <clears throat> people get very brave uh, online. And uh, there, no, there, there are things that, horrible things that are said. Um, in, in, I work a lot with college admissions. There are 10 kids last year who got their admissions from Harvard revoked because they were saying horrible things on a Reddit uh, sub, uh, sub conversation. And um, somebody said, reported them saying, people are saying just really horrible racist things. Those people work their entire lives getting to Harvard. Think of how hard it is getting to Harvard all of that time. You know, and they thought, oh, there's no consequences. I can be a total jerk uh, online. Gone from Harvard. Um, I think prevention uh, is, is a, uh, you know, be, be, uh, acting ahead of time is a great idea. Um, I think that, uh, you know, teaching kids that, you know, in general, you know, we want to be civil in the world. You want to be a good digital citizen. 
But um, you know what you want to be careful is the unknown. It's about the the the, uh, uh, the kind of uh, brazenness that comes with the anonymity. Uh, where, where there where there's you know uh, maybe not consequences for you know some somebody saying something horrible on a video game. Well, I think the hardest thing for me is to have to tell my kids that not everybody is nice like them because they have this hearts and flowers view of the world. And they trust everybody and think that nobody would harm them. And for me to now have to introduce this side of our world to them is stinky. Like, I don't like to have to do it. And I want to do it in a way that I don't scare them. Ooh, let's get there. Okay. <laughs> let's get there. Let's okay. Do that. <laughs> nice transition. Nice transition. Okay. Well, um, well yeah. I, the conversations like this uh, with the internet are new. But what, what I tried to uh, kind of do at the beginning is, you know, we've tried to tell people we don't don't take strangers from candy for you know for 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 decades and, and forever and ever. You know, if you don't know that person, you know, don't get in their van. You know, if if somebody rolls up to you in a car and says, "Hey, I'm," you know, my mom said to take you. You know, who are you? You know. Um, but the internet it changes things a great deal. Um, when you when you think about it, uh, maybe if you have some time to act proactively, prepare for the conversation. Think about how you are going to say it. Okay, not just what, the how. You know, um, I'm just going to use an example here. Um, it, I mean, it's a technique of being on somebody. Um, and it, it creates more equal footing uh, between you and a young person. Like I said, if you're if you're over them, you know, talking this way, your message you could say it the exact same way, the exact same words. It's going to come out differently. So the way you have the conversation, if there's other things going on in the background, if the TV's on or this or that, I mean, if if you know the environment matters a great deal, it, are you creating a, a situation that's conducive to you getting your message out? You know, young people um, may bounce around during conversations a lot. Um, I had this conversation with my daughter this morning, and uh, she immediately bounced to something else, and I thought, ooh, you know, um, uh, and I, I said, hey, you know, I, wanted, I brought it back. I brought it back and said, hey, you know, do you understand, you know, my brother broke up with his girlfriend. We, we like this girlfriend, you know, and no, we're not going to see you brought one around anymore, and she was, upset a bit, and then she said something else real fast, and I said, hey, do you understand, you know, we all like Robin, Robin was nice, but, uh, you know, sometimes kids need to, to be drawn back uh, back on uh, track. It's okay to ask questions when you're having uh, conversations with kids. I don't understand everything about this, okay? Um, you may not either, and you may say, okay, hey, when uh, when you're on Roblox, and somebody sends a friend's request, how, how does it appear, you know? Do you, does it happen right in the game, or does it happen as it's loading up, or, or how does that happen? You know, you know, could you show me? Sometimes, well, a lot of times, I mean, this is a technique we, we use a lot of our society, you know, uh, any type of conversation, you, know, you give some power to somebody else and have them be the expert, it, it helps to create more of a uh, cooperative environment with somebody, so, you know, um, you know, if, 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 um, if I'm talking to uh, Rebecca and I say, you know, Rebecca, um, you know, show me how you get on this roadblocks. I don't really understand. She's like, oh, well, this is what you do. Oh, okay. Her self-confidence grows. She, you know, she feels better about it. She feels like a partner in this. And then she can understand a little bit more. And it's going to be hard. This is, you know, typical with parents. You're the meanest parent ever. You know, oh my gosh, why are you doing this? Johnny's parent says, Susie's parent doesn't do this. Okay, all right, well, uh, this is important to me. You are important to me, okay? Uh, I will, I really want this for you. This is our household, okay? Um, and um, if you if you you know if you if a, if a child tries to escalate and then you escalate and escalate, this conversation is not going to go well. You want to try and de-escalate, bring some things back down. And here's a couple other uh, things to kind of get into. So, how do you how do you start the conversations? It's, it's tough. Um, you know, like I said, you know, parents have sat down and had you know the adolescent talk with people, but like, if you can create a cooperative um, situation where where you're even like I just mentioned, you know, going to them as the expert, like, I'd like to talk about this with you, but like, I want to get your point of view. Like, hey, like, is it a big deal if somebody friends you on Roblox? You know, what could happen? You know, well, um, we I know when they're online, and they know when I'm online. All right, that doesn't make me super comfortable, you know. But you don't play that often. Uh, what else can they know about you when you're online? Well, they know my name, and uh, they can look at like my history and achievements. All right, we don't we don't have our address in there, you know. Like we don't have anything in there. Like 
is it the end of the world if my daughter has some friends on Roblox? Um, you know, can we see them? Hey, can I find out who this is? Oh, okay, it's not a 43-year-old man, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, who is, you know, in, like in, in, in talking with them, you know? Um, who is this? Um, sometimes you might learn something. And some, you know, your, your assumptions might, might be wrong. Um, the way you approach it, the way you open it, is going to matter a lot. Yes, sir. I think that's a good point. Um, I think, and I'm guilty of this because of time, I don't understand all of the games that are downloaded and how to play them. I think from now on I play the games, understand the games, see what they're seeing. Because a lot of times they'll say, can I download this? And they can't without me. So I've downloaded for them. It looks like an innocent game, but I don't realize how they're communicating with everybody because of time. I just downloaded and said, yeah, go ahead. And I said, what are you doing? They show me a screen and I walk away. I don't really understand what they're doing in the game. So that might be important. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Pretty soon my daughter are going to play Fortnite together. Um, I, I want to know what, I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen people play it, but like, I want to play it with her so like she can kind of understand. I don't think I'm ever going to let her play when I'm not there. Uh, I think it'd be something that would be fun to be doing together. Yeah, there's a, um, you know, there's a rating for each game. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there's also uh, a write-up. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so there's E for everyone, there's E10, there's teen. teen uh, with Fortnite, uh, you have to, I think you have to use the adult accounts. You cannot sign in, it can be your age, you, you know, so there's certainly, I don't understand completely those nuances, but I know that he's playing now as me. Uh, that's a good point. Like, uh, okay, so you know, when, now when, when Kelly's I'm knocking on your door, uh, you know, because um, I'm is it, they call for you or for your son? Yeah, right. Well, that's you know, thing. that's yeah. How are you putting? It? You know, could you be putting your career, your your you know, your your you know, a lot of jeopardy there if you're using your own account? So can I? Can yes, sir. I'm not familiar with this Roblox game, but you're yeah. you're saying that you're looking up who. You're connecting to it's a uh, it's an online game where there's an open world and you wander around and you can do different tasks like okay. one of the tasks is like go to school I'm like oh my gosh like how, you but, fight me when I get you out of bed in the morning but like you know you want to go to a virtual school that doesn't make any sense <laughs> but, yeah, the thing is like if, if you don't know that person outside of the game mm -hmm. just because there's a picture of a nine-year-old it doesn't point. mean that that's that nine yeah there's plenty of people out there impersonating um, so one of the rules I have in my house is if, if you're friends with anyone on anything, you've got to point that person out to me at church or oh, school point. or no. I, I want to know who that is. Yeah, that's and nice. You're, you're not being, you're not friending anybody that I don't know in person. Um, I, I'll go through each one of these just uh, rather quickly because we, we've actually, as a group, kind of talked about them. Um, you know, again, make sure that you, you're um, not doing something that puts you in an awkward position where you're always on your device and then you're trying to tell them, hey, we need to cut down on screen time when, you know, when, when you're on it yourself, okay? And then your family as, as well. Um, you know, do some overall just kind of thinking, you know, what are we using? You know, what's our goal? Is it going to be 5210? Uh, why are we going to do it? Um, you know, why are we learning using different things? Um, I covered kind of this before, you know, make a plan. And, you know, if it's, is it going to be one parent, two parent, you know, whatever, who, who's going to be there? Um, it's going to be multiple children. Um, how are you going to handle it? You know, sometimes you want to do it with, if you have multiple children of different ages, there's different talks for different ages. You know, sometimes you want to do it separately. Um, you know, hey, listen, you know, you might have uh, some privileges that you're, you know, does not. Um, I need you to be my partner and saying, hey, when you're doing playing this game, they're not there. Um, there are some different uh, resources, and, and, and actually, I'm glad you took some of the handouts up here uh, for the videos if you need that. Um, young people want to take control of their lives, you know? And that's it's the classic struggle between teenagers and, and adults, you know? It's, it's, it's just a right of adulthood, okay? If you can create th things together, if you can work together, um, it's gonna be, um, uh, gonna be a better than, than you being the authoritative, you know, my way or the highway. Sometimes you have to, it has to be that way. So, hey, hey, listen, 
you know what, you didn't do your chores, the iPad goes away for three days. That's, that's it, you knew the rules, you know, that's happening. Um, but sometimes um, you can discuss, you know, like, hey, listen, um, you know, um, uh, our family values are this, you know, you know, we, we, you know, our faith leads us to believe this, so this. Well, they, they, somebody else believes that. Well, you know, I, I can't speak for their household. You know, this is this is what we believe. This is what was appropriate for us. Um, and consequences. It's important to be clear and consistent with them. Listen, you um, get to use the device this often. My expectations for you are that you. Uh, you know, brush your teeth, you do this, you do this, okay, I don't need to remind you, okay, do you understand? Hey, you know, you be clear about what your, these things are, and then when it's time, reference them. We talked about this, and how, you know, this was the consequence, okay, I'm following through, and you, you need to be <coughs> consistent with it. If, if, you're, if your rules don't mean anything, then the, the consequence, then they let it go, then that's going to that's gonna reverberate throughout the, their life, okay? Well, they didn't really worry about my internet use, and maybe they don't worry about my uh, uh, staying out an hour late or hanging out with this person or that person. Um, that's general parenting things, just now. Uh, there can be, for me, quite an intensity when I put a grounding on this. So, and we have different parenting styles in the house, too. So, I uh, put... Um, my husband likes to just say, you're done with it, and that's fine, and I love that. You know, I love that he's involved. I love that he, he sees it and that he wants to be, uh, to put parameters or consequences on it. I, on the other hand, will put it, I'll put on something in front of it, like, all right, if I'm a chore person. So, just cleaned off the hillside, found all these to do fire pits. So I'm like, well, you want that? You want that kid? All right, you're gonna you're gonna lose. You just lost it, and if he if he's not, you know, he's still okay. We're gonna go outside, and we're gonna get all the we're gonna fill this bucket, you know, and get all or whatever it is that I have full of the laundry, but just to get the head off of the you know, the chew of it because it's it's a way that kids process, you know, and it can be very um, intense. Indeed, indeed. Um, when you're having conversations, um, it's a good idea to ask about, hey, you know, have you encountered this before? You know, have you seen things that have worried you before? Uh, some, you know, it's a big world out there. Kids talk on the bus, they talk at school, and this and that. Like, oh my gosh, yesterday, my, or this last week, my daughter said, you know, I'm worried about our cat. We're going to have to put the cat down. And I said, oh, where'd you learn about that? Oh, somebody else has had to put their dog down. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, we, even, we didn't really have that conversation yet. Uh, as things pop up in, in lives, you know, ask, you know, hey, you know, uh, have you talked about this at school? Have you talked about it with your friends about, you know, some, some uh, scary things? Um, and this, this is kind of an important one as well as you're talking about, you know, um, you know even video games and things like that. Say, hey, listen, you know, have, uh, have you, do you have some achievements or stuff like that? Like, hey, it looks like you earned a trophy, you know, cool, good for you. There's positive content on the internet. You know, there's there's positive things on social media that you can put out. You know, those things are we think of social media as evil. It's kind of a neutral thing. What you put on it is is you know good or evil. It, it, it's how you use it. Um, but the idea of of talking about positive content is uh, is an important one. Um, being clear and consistent about your rules, okay? And if it's a hey, uh, just so you know, I'm uh, I don't want you ever to clear the history. I don't want you to clear the history on a browser. I'll clear the history, okay? But if I see that the, the a browser ends at a certain point, I'm gonna assume that you were somewhere you were not. Um, you know, hey, I don't want you clearing, um, you know, viewed videos or something like that. I'm going to check on them. I need you to know. It's better not to say, I'm gonna check every week, because then they kind of know. I'd leave it open-ended, uh, you know, when, when you might check. Um, you know, you could flat out say, I pay for this. This is my phone. You are using it. You can say it's your phone, but truly, this is mine. And um, um, I, you know, if if I want to look at it, I will. I keep referencing my own daughter, but uh, we had a conversation about she, 
buying two snacks a day at lunch, <laughs> chips and uh, chips and this. And I I printed out the my school box thing and I said, uh, hey, are you buying? A? I said I'm getting a little worried you're buying stuff. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm a little worried about it. I'm giving her a chance to kind of confess. I'm, I, I, I'm a little worried you're buying it. No, 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 I'm not doing it. Well, it looks like this day you might have. Okay, maybe this day you might have. Okay. I want, you know, two snacks a week is, is what you're allowed. I don't, not even, t you know, two a day. Um, so you gotta, you gotta revisit it. Um, yeah, I was like, I got this alert. You have $10 left. I'm like, how? How did you get that? Um, discuss, you know, kind of when you might do it. Um, oh, um, um, I have access to every single password that uh, my daughter might use. I know every single one. And there are severe consequences. If a password might be changed without my knowledge, severe consequences. Um, uh, that is a, a big deal. Um, uh, if, if you want to, um, you, can, you, know, you can bridge us into an overall conversation about trust. And, and um, you know, I want to trust you. I want to you know, eventually give you the car keys. I want to, you know, to do this. Um, you can build trust with me by appropriately using this device. You know, when I ask you, hey, you know, are you, are you, uh, you know, your hour's done, just put it aside. I don't want to be asking you four times to do that, okay? Um, build positive trust with me. And you know what, maybe, maybe I'm like, oh, you know what, you're, you're doing a good job. We can have an hour and a half today, okay? There's the idea of, of positive capital um, that uh, you, you could build up as well. Um, if you don't know how a child might leave a conversation or unfriend somebody or something like that, just ask. I just let flat out ask them, you know. Um, how do you, you know, okay, how uh, do you decline a friend's request on Roblox? Or uh, how, do you, how do you do this? Um, if you feel like it, if you want to, you know, quote numbers and say, you know, we have uh, three devices in our house. We pay $140 a month for internet use. I don't know, I think that's what it is. You know, do you understand how much money we pay? I pay for this. You know, this isn't free. You know, give them an idea of, 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 you know, of um, um, uh, consumer science, you know, being a consumer and, and uh, paying for, for things. Um, if you want to, you know, get into the idea of identity theft um, as they get older and older, you know, you are at risk of, uh, of somebody pretending they're you. Um, but these are kind of some, some, some boogeymen you can kind of put out there, you know, um, that, that say, you know, it's not me versus you. These are things that happen. These are things that people do. I don't want you to do it. Um, as they get older and older, there's like literally physical dangers. Uh, texting and driving is, is apparently um, um, uh, there's more accidents now because of that than, than um, chemical use and uh, and driving. Um, you made a good well. You know, we talked about playing outside and being in the real world. Um, it's easy to get sucked into these things. Um, if you want, if you know, sometimes there's there's a media time. You know, like I get home, uh, I've been talked all day and stuff like that. You know, and like I don't really immediately want to just talk with my family right away, you know, we all kind of go home, we chill for a bit, you know, hey, let's, let's chill for a bit, and then let's make dinner, okay? It's okay, if, you know, it's, it's not a big deal if everybody's on a device, you know, one time, but if that's what your whole evening looks like, then you're getting into some problems there. Um, just to uh, start to wrap up, um, make sure you're modeling, being consistent, following your own rules, um, and you let things slide, um, you know, that is, you know, they're, uh, in some ways they, they trust you to follow through with your uh, consequences, you know, and if you don't, then, then they're like, I can get away with more and more. Um, there are some serious cases where there is a compulsion, uh, where you do not feel comfortable, where there are physical reactions sometimes to not having devices. Um, and you need to be very careful about that. Um, if, if, you know, if a child's in class and they're thinking about, um, you know, oh, I gotta, uh, I gotta get online at this time, you know, and they're not present in the real world, if that's interfering with the real world activities, uh, you may wanna contact uh, some, some, uh, uh, some professionals to assist with that. Um, some other ways that, you know, you can see somebody's addicted to, um, Technology and, and I mean really anything. 
Uh, but if you can't stop, you know, if, if uh, you know, they don't, you know, feeling good when you don't have a device in front of you, those are all danger signs. And, uh, you know, people misuse technology, they lose their jobs, they, you know, think terrible things happen. Um, you know, if, if you know, uh, you find devices on late in the night, you know, hey, we had a big, big discussion about this. Why do you have that device in your room, you know, late at night, you know? Um, if, uh, if it's a way to kind of escape, if, if you know, it seems like all the pleasure in the world comes from a device, uh, that, that could be a sign um, that uh, um, could, uh, could affect things. Um, just want to finish up here. So it, it depends. There's a, there's a lot of um, uh, different factors. It's, it's still, I mean, relatively new internet uh, addiction, uh, video game addiction. But there's some different uh, therapies out there. Um, for some reason, I, they, they found that uh, horse riding is like a really like, good break. It's a really great break with uh, uh, the, in the, entering into the real world. Yep. You're interacting with a live creature, you know, and it's yep. it's bigger than life, you know, and and, um, and it's a relationship. Oh, it's, yeah, a it's also about control because the, you need to control the horse yeah. and not the horse. Well, and the horse is yeah, and the horse has yeah. it's not like the control. Yeah. Where so you put it down and it stops. Right. It has a personality and it. it Good call. <laughs> so people with authority issues. That's a great thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and it's like oh, you know, um, are, are you in a different position now where <laughs> that thing's not listening to you? Like you don't listen to me, you know? Like ah, oh, you just don't. isn't that interesting? Yeah. <laughs> So um, I, I, I wanted to kind of give you just some, you know, some broad skills um, to dealing with, this, you know, the child has a device, you know, how are you going to keep them safe, you know, um, and um, I, I, I'm with you, uh, I'm struggling with this myself, um, um, and uh, I thank you for your time, and if, if you have any questions, I'll be around, and um, I encourage you to uh, grab some of the paperwork that, uh, that Kelly has here, okay? Thank you. Thank okay, you. Thanks for your time. We're going to take a break. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break, and then uh, anybody else? There's